guys, so today I was at Antiques Gallery, which is located in Mesquite, Texas. It's probably the closest antique mall to me, so I do tend to go there more than other places. And I always find something. Um, today I was in a hurry. I only had about 40 minutes in there, and sometimes I can be in there for like two hours. Like, it's that big, and there are so many booths that I love to look at. There were some new booths, and so today I was kind of checking them out. Um, this one, it was a new vendor, and it was all new items, I do believe. Um, it was pretty cool because there were some Halloween um, assemblages in this booth, so I'm kind of trying to show you guys, um, you know, just to give you an idea of what I thought was cool. That bear mask is really cool. I don't, I don't think I looked at it to see how old it was, but... I'm seeing it now, and I'm like, why didn't I look at that? Uh, but anyway, again, um, whoever uh, runs this booth or whoever rents the space is very crafty because there are a lot of really cool Halloween items there. This is one of my favorite booths. Um, this booth has a lot of Made in Japan and Occupied Japan items. That Art Deco dish is so pretty. I've looked at that a few times. Today, I paused to look at a lot of the lusterware, which... It's not something that I normally look at, but for some reason today, I couldn't help myself. This is beautiful. That is Italian, and it's a trinket box. Now, I put it in my basket, and it did go around with me for a while because I thought about getting it for myself. But I ended up getting something else for myself, so I ended up putting that back. And now, of course, I regret doing so. If you guys are interested in something like that, do let me know. Uh, so here I am back in this booth that I, I do enjoy. This really cool um, enamel bowl was on sale. Well, maybe it wasn't. There were some items on that shelf that were on sale. So I was trying to kind of check them all out. This milk glass planter is really pretty. Now guys, I know I keep saying this, but I need to get new glasses. I sat here for a while trying to figure out <laughs> what was marked at the bottom of that planter and uh, I couldn't figure it out. So I kind of gave up, um, but I thought it was really pretty. I'm thinking maybe Westmoreland. Again, another pretty piece of lust where I'm showing, I'm sorry, I'm not showing it right there, but look at how Art Deco and cool that is. Just really, really pretty. I don't know what it is about me and lust wear all of a sudden. I think I like the color combinations and when they have an Art Deco design like that, I really like it. Now I know the bottom looked like it was scratched, but um, it wasn't. I don't know if it was just some flaw when it was being made. Okay, so this is beautiful. That is Fenton, and it's kind of like a satiny baby blue color. Um, I do believe it's a, is that a planter? You know, I don't remember. I don't think I show the inside of that, but I thought it was beautiful. It was labeled as a, a Christmas Madonna, um, but I think she could be out any time of year. <laughs> that lamb is super cute. This Scotty planter is adorable. I love how he's peeking in. Uh, he was on sale for 12 but I ended up not getting him. Now this dragon base, I look at this every time I go by this booth. I The bottom of it looks very much like Royal Copley, but I don't believe it is. I need to actually research it because it's really cool. Um, that was really pretty. They had a lot of nice vanity items. I loved that Art Deco brush. I'm assuming it was like a shoe brush or a boot brush or something like that. Um, Again, I just kept, I couldn't stop myself. I just kept looking at the lusterware and all the other pretty items in this booth. Um, that's a donkey ashtray to the right. It's cute. Um, I'm hoping to find one in the wild someday because I would like to add it to my donkey collection. Um, and that one's lustry, as you can see. But it was just, you know, something I didn't need to buy for myself today. Okay, there's another really cool Art Deco um, Japan piece there. I love the color combination on that one, too. Um, that is a Thousand Faces um, little bowl or dish. I love the handle on that as well. Um, I don't have any Thousand Faces pieces, so I don't know. I just sat there and looked at that one for a while, too. I think at this point, people were trying to pass by. You know, the, the aisles are a little bit narrow, so I was trying to stay out of everyone's way, especially with COVID. Um, those were really pretty salt and peppers, um, hand-painted Royal Dalton. 
Unfortunately, as you can see, that planter was kind of leaning off an edge, so I didn't pull them out because I was afraid I might accidentally hurt something. And there's another really pretty picture. I'm assuming it's probably Fiesta. That bunny is adorable. I loved that picture on the second shelf. Okay, good. I was going to say, did I not show it? But I did. Um, it's very pretty. That was on sale as well. If there's ever anything you guys see in my videos when I'm out shopping, um, if it's something you're interested in, let me know. Especially if it's from uh, this particular antique mall because it's not far and I can always pop in there if there's something that you see in the video that you're really looking for. I do believe this was Noritake. Yes, look at how beautiful that is, guys. Just stunning. It's in great shape as well. I loved that picture. I couldn't quite reach it. Um, as you can see, it was kind of on a glass tray and I was afraid I might accidentally damage something so I didn't take it out, but it was a beautiful copper. I like that one as well. Another Art Deco piece. That one was heavy and <laughs> I couldn't lift it while I was filming. So these are some more of the items in the same booth. I, like I said, I spent a lot of time there today. Okay, that was interesting. These are cake decorations and they're um, a soccer team <laughs> I wasn't sure if you guys would be interested in that I, I just, if it had been anything but a sport I probably would have gotten uh, the cake decorations but that's all they had was soccer so I didn't get that that planter is really pretty it's Yukako as you can see there and that's a good price on that I have a lot of planters though so I'm not buying any more until I sell some <laughs> Just running out of room. I like that little dog. I think he's adorable. I have seen him there before. He was on sale. There were a couple items in this booth that I kept thinking I would go back to when I was finished with everything else, but because I was in such a rush, I didn't go back. So you may see some of these in a live sale at some point. That was really pretty as well. I believe that was a creamer. I love the Love the 1920s handle. Just really pretty there. Look at that one. See, I couldn't stop looking at them, guys. This candy dish was really, really nice. And it was a good price. This one, too. I uh, First of all, I was making sure there was no damage. And I didn't see any, which was amazing. Um, but I kept thinking I would go back to that booth. And like I said, I just ran out of time. But I love that. It's so pretty. It's kind of got a Halloween vibe to it. Rocky says hi to all of his friends. Um, he wants to come in here. I'm in here trying to record this voiceover because I don't want you guys to hear the dogs barking and walking around, but clearly you're going to hear them anyway. Um, that was a little bag, as you can see, of Christmas items. They were probably vintage as in like 1990s. Um, I didn't see anything special in that. Or otherwise, I would have gotten it. Um, they were cute. They just really weren't, you know, real vintage looking so I did not pick them up that bunny back there every time I see him <laughs> I think about how cute he is okay so here I found some salt and peppers salty and peppy this was a different booth I had moved on I like that tin I thought that was really cute okay this pig intrigued me he was a metal pig I'm not sure what his purpose was I don't know if he was just like a little art piece but he was labeled Metal Pig. <laughs> he was cute. I had fun looking at him. I don't know if he was a homemade piece. Um, he was really interesting. I have seen these roosters before. They're, they're kind of pricey at $24. And one of them is larger than the other, so I'm not sure if they're a set or not. Um, and that one says Centerville. If you're not familiar with your Texas geography, um, Centerville is halfway between Houston and Dallas, which is why it's called Centerville. There's a briar horse. I had that same horse uh, when I was growing up, and I do actually have a lot of my briars from my childhood. I had quite a few. <laughs> I was putting it mildly. I had a fascination with horses, and I, I still do. Um, this aluminum tray was really cool. It was discounted. Um, this was something I just wasn't quite sure if you guys would be interested in it. So, if you are interested in things like that, leave a comment below or let me know. I'm just, I'm curious about that. That was Elvis's car, his pink Cadillac. 
there are some vendors in this antique mall that have quite a few um, Elvis items. Oh, that poodle was so cute. And she was in pretty good shape. I can't remember how much she was. She was 18. So if, if I was going to put her in a live sale, you know, I, I'm not sure if you guys would want to pay uh, the price I would have to ask for. So she went back. And now I regret it. Cute little poodle. I couldn't reach that. I was trying. There were items in front of me. And I was trying to see if it worked. I don't know if it was a reproduction or not, but it looked to be like a mid-century looking radio, which I thought was really cool. I couldn't even find out the price because I couldn't reach it back there. And that happened a few times. Oh, this mirror was really cool. It was simply labeled from New York, um, but it was really cool. There was some jewelry here I was kind of stopping to look at. I did not get anything from that booth. Uh, that lamp was really nice, and it was a pretty good price to it. It did say it works, uh, $40. Not bad. Oh, yeah, that was a hat box. I was like, what? Where am I showing you guys? It was a really cool hat box. It was empty, of course, but I thought the box was cool. And, of course, it reminded me of Katie, vintage and vinyl. Another lusterware piece. It's so funny how you're, if you're not interested in something, you know, you probably don't even see it. I kept finding it. Oh, these vanity items were amazing. Look at this mirror, guys. Look at the etching. And Doris had this mirror. I believe it was 14, which is not too bad. But isn't that amazing? There were a couple other next to it. I think I do show them. I hope I do. Uh, this one had an Art Deco uh, look and feel. It said it was Bakelite and Celluloid. Oh, there you go. $9.95. Not too bad for that. But I think this may be my favorite. Um, this had a comb. I'm sorry, a mirror and a, oh, and a comb. Yes. Um, I'm not showing it very well. They were this beautiful, like, powder blue uh, color. There you go. I think you can see it. And those are in really good shape as well. Oh, that was a little hot plate. That's cute. I think I was trying to make room to pull something else out. I'm not sure what it was. There was a clown. I don't think you could. Oh, yeah, you can. Clown alert on the left. Clown alert. I, I think I was trying to make room for something, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was that. That's another beautiful piece of Noritake. I love that. I like the feet on that. I like the color. It's just really, really. Okay, and I ended up filming like two of the newer booths that I hadn't seen before, not because they had vintage items, but because I hadn't seen them and I was excited to see them. Um, that rooster was really cool. He's 55. He is ceramic. What does it say? Fancy rooster. He was pretty fancy. He was large. Um, I don't think anything in this booth was vintage. That that print, or that picture, I should say, is really pretty. It's like um, an Indian, uh, Native American, excuse me, uh, girl and her horse. Just really, really cute piece. Of course, being in Texas, had to show the armadillo. I think he was probably resin. So those were spiky shrooms. And I was really excited about them until I saw that there was damage. Uh, there's a butterfly on it and his wing, one of his wings is missing. So um, I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway because it, it's not vintage. But I thought the spiky shrooms were pretty cool. You know what? I lied to you. There are some older things. There's a rusty, crusty oil lamp and a lantern there. And as you can see, a lot of the vendors were decorating for Halloween. I thought that horse was really pretty, that hanging. Um, here is a mannequin with... A full-on Western outfit. You got you some chaps. Um, then they had some assemblages there as well. There was a saddle, which was kind of cool. It made me want to go ride a horse. I haven't done that in a while. And I think it was 65, which probably is not bad for a Western saddle like that. Okay, so this is another favorite booth. They have a lot of Fenton in this booth. And they had a lot of carnival glass today as well. Um, there's Fiesta, as you can see here. I stopped because of the Shawnee cats um, that 
somehow I pass by. I think somebody might have been trying to pass me. Of course, those mid-century um, glasses with the caddy are amazing. They've been there for a while. And they're just a little bit too high. So, yeah, I was getting out of somebody's way. $50, which isn't bad. You know, it's good for retail, but I, I just couldn't justify it, even though I love them. It did say they were a rare um, pattern. I'm not sure about that. But they're really pretty. They're red tulips. There were some Hummel figures here. The shelf they were on was kind of uh, shaky, so I was afraid to take anything off of it. Uh, this Custer Glass Fenton um, basket weave handle holder or vase um, is really, really cool. It's been there for a while. That Fenton uh, with the white and pink is stunning as well. There is a little bell that I have not seen there before. Hand painted, of course. I think there's some aqua crest in this booth too. I cannot remember if I show it. Um, if not, I definitely need to uh, film it next time because aqua crest is so pretty. And as you can see, there was a painting. There was an old Coke crate, which I thought was really neat too. Don't know anything about them. Don't know if that was a good price or not. $35. Something tells me it might not be a bad price, but I really, I'm not, I don't know a lot about Coke memorabilia. It was in Coca-Cola, of course. Okay, good. I do show the Aqua Crest. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, it's so pretty. I was just trying to show you guys, like, the, the beauty of it with the blue and the white. So nice. And, of course, the blue opalescent in the middle is stunning as well. And there are some Fenton Bells here. Okay, guys, we are about to start the haul. Stay tuned for more fun. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me today. I was at Antiques Gallery in Mesquite, Texas, which is an antique mall. Um, they have quite a few booths, and normally I'm there for two, sometimes three hours. Um, but today I only had about 45 minutes, so I did find some goodies in that short amount of time. You know, I have some booths that I... You know, I prefer or that I, I frequent um, on each trip. So I kind of made a mad dash for those and, you know, glanced at the other booths. But again, it's a big place, so I didn't have time to, to look through everything. I haven't been there in about maybe even close to a month. So hopefully I can maybe go back next week or over the weekend to look at all the booths I didn't get a chance to check out. But I had a great time. There were some new vendors in there, which is always cool. Okay, so I got quite a few pieces of sheet music, and I do believe these are all from the 20s and 30s. Um, they're all in pretty good shape, and I, you know, if you watch my live sales or if you follow, you know, my, my channel, you probably know I love picking up sheet music. I think it's amazing. I love the art. I love the history of music, so this is all kind of my jam. Um, so I'm going to go over each one um, individually, but I'm not going to talk about them for a long time because I know some of you may not be interested. Um, this one is You Walk By, and I love the illustration on this. I love her. I think she's probably a ghost. What do you guys think? It's making me want to um, listen to the song for sure. I might have to do that sometime later. This one is from 1940, so I think this is the newest one. Pretty sure. Um, but again, beautiful, beautiful graphic. I love it. And next to it, I kind of put these in, in kind of a color order here. Um, this is another blue one. I think this would be beautiful framed. It's in really good shape. Um, this is deer on a night like this. I mean, how beautiful is that, guys? Um, this one is from 1927. And it, it's really pretty, like I said. Um, I think this may be my favorite cover. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like baby face here. Um, this one is amazing as well. Look at her with her bow. Um, this is in great shape too. It was 50 cents back in the day. Um, this would be great for framing. I mean, these all would. But I think this one is really, really cool. Uh, this one is from 1926. I do believe. And the next one is Nobody's Sweetheart. Look at her. She looks very, very 1920s. 
Um, I love the art on this. I love her. I love her. Is that a hat or a bonnet, guys? Hat bonnet? I'm not quite sure. But I like the leaves. I like the blue and the green there. Just a really, really pretty one. Let's see here. This one is 1924. Nobody, sweetheart. Actually, when I look at these, I actually do want to hear all the songs. Um, so I really might do that. I know I'm a dork, but I just love it. Okay, now this one I had to get. Baby your mother like she babied you. And look, it's like a, a grandmother perhaps thinking about her past when she was a young mother. It's so, so cute. You cannot go wrong with any first songs. Okay, with any first song. Um, most of these are from New York. Um, this is where they were published. I think all of these are, to be honest with you. It's very rare that I find any that are not, um, published in New York. Um, this one's 1927, as you see here. Just look at that. Look at that border. It's freaking fantastic, and I love it. Okay, so this one is from a film in 1938, Vogue's of 38. Um, it's that old feeling. Look at her. That must be Joan Bennett. I'm not familiar with this film, but how cool is that? Absolutely love it. I wish I had more wall space, guys. I would I would frame so many of these. Okay, this one is so cool. This is Moulin Rouge. Um, this is Jose Ferrer's Moulin Rouge um, film, which I don't know if I've seen this or not, guys. The song from Moulin Rouge. And then you have this beautiful dancer here. This this graphic is amazing as well. This one was 40 cents. Let's see here. This one is not Roman numerals. Yay! This is from 1953. But is she not fantastic? She's so, so cool. Okay. Next to her, I have this really cool art glass vase. Um, I do believe... I think this is probably mid-century. It does have some scratching on it. And I am going to try to um, kind of fix some of that on my own. I just couldn't leave it behind because of Halloween. I know a lot of you would probably like to use something like this in decorating. So I went ahead and got it. I love the top of this swing vase. I think it's really, really cool. Or is this a stretch vase? Hmm, I feel like it could be both. Not quite sure on that. Um, looks like there's some dirt in the bottom. I'm sorry about that, guys. But I was really excited to find this piece. I think it's really, really cool. And again, those those pesky scratches. I'm going to see if I can maybe use some um, sandpaper, really fine sandpaper, and try to get some of those scratches out. But if I can't, I think some of you will still be interested in it. And, of course, I'll give you a discount if I um, cannot get the scratches out. But is it not fantastic? I put it next to the orange for a reason. I'm in a Halloween mood. I still haven't put up all my Halloween decorations, but I had a great time watching Gina's video this morning, so it's kind of inspiring me to go ahead and finish putting all my stuff out. Okay, so we talked about this. Now, I passed right over this. This is amazing. Um, this is Tonala, and this is Ken Edwards. Um, it is signed here, K-E, and... I love this vase. I love this bird. I love the flowers. It has so much detail. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, the shape of it is very unique as well. And I just, I, I love this. It's one of my favorite pieces that I picked up recently, guys. I think it's really, really cool. Beautiful. This one probably will be in a live sale soon. And I do want to say, like I always do, if you see something you're interested in, always reach out to me. Um, you know, if you don't want to wait for a live sale or, you know, it's something you really want and you don't want to risk not winning it, you can always reach out to me. I will work with you on that. Okay. So we went over the beautiful Tonawa vase. Let's go over the ephemera I have here. So I got a couple of birthday cards. <laughs> These are so cute guys. Um, they're in very, very good shape. They were never used, and they come with their original envelopes, which I thought was really cool. Now, watch me damage this one as I'm trying to open it for you. I think these are so, so cute. You've got this dog. This is a Wheel of Fortune. This little puppy came along to share the birthday fun. 
and to hope this special day of yours is an extra happy one. He's so cute. Um, but I just love him. Look at them. <laughs> the little figures back there dancing. And of course the puppy, he's spilling the He's spinning the Wheel of Fortune for someone's birthday. He's so, so cute. He's got little suspenders and a bow and a hat on. Okay, and this one is just as cute. This is Hope. Hope. Have lots of fun on your birthday. And it has, look at this monkey. This is so, so cute. Um, I, he's a circus mon monkey or some sort of entertainer monkey. Um, but just look at him. He's so stinking cute. And in here, it's kind of like the other card. There is, you know, um, a little sketch here as well. Hope your birthday is so exciting and such a lot of fun that you'll wish you had another one just as soon as this one's done. And this one also comes with its original envelope. So, so cute. I picked up a couple of pieces of Christmas um, ephemera as well. This is a, um, you know, a photograph, Merry Christmas uh, card you know, that families would often send out. I have a lot of my families, my grandmother and great grandparents um, did these every year. But I thought, first of all, what a nice looking family. I like them. And of course I like this graphic and the font. Just really, really cool. This one is in really good shape. Then there is another one. And this one is from a family as well, but it doesn't have the picture. It just says greetings and best wishes for your happiness at Christmas and throughout the new year. Mr. and Mrs. Albert Potter. I thought that was really pretty with the holly and the leaf. And again, I love the font. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I also got a couple of other birthday cards. These are older. Um, this one is a postcard. May each birthday be happier. It has this beautiful um, drawing of a, a farm on a creek or on a river with this beautiful, beautiful picture. Um, this is from Nebraska. There is no postmark date on it. Um, I thought this was just really pretty. Very nice. And then the last birthday card I have is this. Um, this is a birthday appreciation card. And it's also a postcard. I believe it has a psalm here. Yes, it does. Sorry about that, guys. Here is the back of it. Just really cute. You know, whenever I see things like this, I tend to pick them up if they're not overpriced. So, I was very happy to find them. I also got an oil lamp. And I've been picking these up a lot lately. A lot of them don't have their um, lamp or lantern, depending on what you, you call the top part. Um... But this one is in really good shape. I got it because it was green. I like the glass. Um, just really nice. I know some of you do collect them, so I like getting them whenever I see them for a good price as well. And then next to it, I have this amazing cobalt blue whale. He is so, so pretty. I think the light is coming in pretty good so you can see all the beautiful uh, details in this. The tail's really well done, and his face and his mouth are too. Just a really, really pretty piece here. It's not focusing. I do apologize. There we go. And he kind of fits like in the palm of my hand. Super, super pretty. And I have a thing for whales, so I was not leaving him behind. Okay, then on to the jewelry. So I found quite a few pieces this trip, which is really, really cool. Some of them are cats. Actually, half of them are cats. Just don't realize that. Um, so this is a metal and enamel white and gray cat. Very mid-century looking. Here's the back. I love his whiskers. I don't know, he just kind of made me chuckle. I think this is a really, really cool one. Then I got a gold cat brooch, a gold tone. Has these two cats. They kind of look more like leopards or panthers to me. I'm not quite sure. I don't think any of these are marked, but I, I can't quite remember. Anyway, I just thought this was really cute as well. Love me some cats. I also got a pair of earrings. I don't always get earrings, um, especially if they're pierced, and especially if they're not vintage, but I thought these were really cute. Um, and they're, they're cats, and they have a ball of yarn. Um, here's the back. They're both in really good shape. Um, let me show you them together so you can kind of get a better idea. Aren't they cute? 
I love the little dangle uh, ball of yarn on them. Then I got a really pretty Christmas brooch. Uh, this one, as you can see, it's gold tone and it has really pretty, um, you know, kind of like ruby red color rhinestones. And then it has um, the bells that dangle from it. I just thought that was really pretty and, you know, I couldn't pass that up. It was just really, really pretty. And it's very well made. I do not believe this one is marked either. I don't know how old this one is. I think it's really pretty though. I think you're seeing it focus. Just really, really nice. Okay, and then these last two are pendants. I don't normally pick these up either. This one I'm likely keeping because I do collect owls and I, I don't have this guy yet. As you can see, he's like a silver tone. He has black rhinestone eyes. He was really dirty when I got him home, but I did clean him up. And like I said, he's a pendant, but he opens up, which is really cool. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to open it while I am filming. Oh, I did. Um, Here is the inside. Not quite sure what I would put in there, but I thought it was really cool. I don't know if this is vintage or not. It could be. You know, it's definitely not silver. I don't think it's pewter. It's just some sort of metal. But isn't he cool? I love him. He loves you too. <laughs> and then I got this just because it was super cute. I, I don't think this is, I mean, it's definitely not vintage the more I'm looking at it. Um, it's just this cute little fox pendant. He's got a little like, derby hat on and he, whoops. Oh, this is never gonna focus. There we go. He's got that little rhinestone hanging down. He's just really cute. I had to pick him up too. I think some of you might get a kick out of him as well. And I hope everyone enjoyed this little haul. Um, I can't wait to go back to Antiques Gallery. Hopefully, like I said, I'll be able to go back sometime soon. If you have any questions, you know you can always reach out to me, calypsoantiques at gmail.com. You can DM me on Insta. And all of that information is at the end of this video. Okay, guys, I hope everyone has a great Tuesday. I look forward to tomorrow night's live sale. It's our late night sale. It is on this channel. And it starts at 1030 Eastern, 930 Central, and 730 Pacific. So hope to see you guys there. Love you guys. Thanks for all your support. Bye.